Yo, what is up guys, DSY here and welcome to my army movement guide on how I will teach you on how do you issue movement controls, how do you move them in a way that you would want them to face in a correct direction, how do you issue attacks and separate them out instead of converging on a single dude, on a single line. Basically, I'll be covering all that good stuff so that you can enhance your battles and maybe who knows, you could learn something new here. Alright guys. So the first thing I would like to talk about is before we even get into the movement itself is basically when the battle starts. When the battle starts, our army will be in a default formation and in order to properly gauge the areas that you can actually position your army, it is usually by indicated by this green color line at the beginning of the game. So this will be this green color line is where I can place my units. Let's say for example, if I take my spearman, you can see that I can only place them at the nearest before the line that is the nearest as I can go for and the foot and in and I can I, and I can't go beyond this green line if I want to play something that's beyond the green line like over here like my reverse I can only position these units before this white line over here you can see it can be a little bit vague can just position them over here is basically if they have the ability the ability called Vanguard deployment only units with Vanguard deployment can position outside of the green line so when you say i can position them over here as well as long as it's before this white line as well so i can even position them over here but i can't so i can position them over here as well so as you can see so this is basically talking about when the battle just started you know you have to position your troops so i'll just get into a random position for the troops and we'll go from there shall we so we're gonna go to a to a random position Alright, so basically you have your formation, everything looks good and now we can start the battle. So before I actually go into the deep dive on how it works, is so I'm, so I'm basically going to talk about how do you move your army and how do you issue orders for them in a way that you will want them to issue. So first things first, to select a unit, you can select units from two separate, two separate ways. First way is just by clicking on the unit you want on the map. I click your unit to, to issue an order right click for them to move to a specific direction that you want so that's that the second way is i can actually click on the banners over here the banner cards so let's say for example i want my one of my alien rivers to move i click on the river and they move over here so they are moved into that direction so let me just position them back so that's basically moving individual units. Then let's talk about moving multiple units at the same time. When we talk about multi, when we talk about that is there are multi, there are there are like three ways to go about it. But the most common way that people always use is by dragging a box. So you can see if you hold left click and you drag a box and, and sorry you hold left click and you drag a box will create. So any unit that's enveloped inside the box it will be selected. Let's say for example I would like to move two of my two of my cavalry. So I just drag a box, envelop them and they are selected and then I can move them how, however I want so that's that and then the second way on how you basically can choose your unit is by using the banner cards as well so let's say for example I want to select two white lines by just clicking on the left click I will select them individually to select both of them I have to hold the control button while holding the control button I click on another unit they'll be selected so let's say I want to select another spearman there I go, I can select and then I can just issue the move order. That's about it, pretty straightforward. But then let's talk about how do I actually, if I want to select a unit that is from a, a row, like, like, like across the row, let's say for example, I like select all the units across over here, what do I do is, well, what I do is while clicking on the first unit, while holding the shift button, I click on the last spearman. That deals select all the spearmen across and I can then issue the move order for them. So that's that. It, this can also be used instead of banner cards, also units that are in between all in between the map as well. So let's say for example by clicking on the archers here, if I were to hold shift and select this archer, the middle archer will be selected as well. As you can see, and then I can then issue the order for them. Same goes for here. Let's say if I click this one and I want to select all the way across to this last pyramid and all the units in between them, while clicking on the most left unit, while holding shift, click on here click on the most right unit and all the units in between will be selected so this also works if it is a, if, if, if they are of different units so let me quickly move my calf to go in between all the spearmen 
Okay, so now my camera is in between the spearmen. So if I click on the most left unit and if I hold shift while left clicking on the most right spearmen, you can see my calf is selected as well. But when I move them, they will be moved into a formation of their own. So that's that. So let me just quickly move them into a formation. All right. So that is more or less the basic when it comes to movement, all right, on moving. But then let's go a little bit more in depth on how do you move them and face them in the direction that you want. So I think you already seen it a couple of times whereby I actually, while clicking on the unit, instead of clicking right click, yes, they will move in the direction you want. But let's say now I want them to move to the right over here. But I want, but you can see if I issue a default order moving to the right like this, I, I actually have the intention of them to face forward, but now look at where they are facing. They are facing not to the enemy, but to a uh, planes and their flanks are exposed to the enemy. That's not my intention. So how do you actually move them is by clicking on the unit while holding the right mouse button, you drag a box. Can be a little bit hard to see from this terrain, so let me zoom in a bit. So by clicking on the unit I'm planning to go for, I just, while holding the right mouse button, drag it over and then you'll see a, a, a box. So that is it. That is an indicator and a highlight of where they are looking at. If the arrow is pointing towards that direction, that's where they are facing. So when I move, then there, then there I go. They will move while facing that direction. Same thing, if I want them to move a little bit to the right without while facing the enemy, I should just drag it over here. And then after that, they're going to move into that formation. While the arrow is pointing forward, they will face the enemy. There you go. All of them are now facing the enemy. So if you want to move in a formation as well, so that is basically the same thing, the same thing too. So just drag it. So basically just drag a box over your land reverse and just, and just while holding the right, the right mouse button, just drag. And then after that, they will then move to that particular direction while facing. For example, I face it that side, they will face that side. If I want to face this side, I just drag it over here, just facing this side. If I want them to face towards the enemy, then same thing. Just drag it and, this, and there I go. I can face it at me. So usually this is one of the most common way of how you will always move all your units. Then let's say if I want to move them in a formation forward, same thing, pretty straightforward. I'll just highlight my entire roster or my entire army and then I can issue the move order right right over here. But the downside when I'm when I'm doing something like this is that you can realize the highlight that is my formation is actually broken. You can see my formation is broken. So there are two ways actually on how you can actually move your army in the formation that you have set up. So let me just move them back over here. All right. So, so the two methods of how you basically issue an order while while asking them to move in a formation is basically while dragging the formation that you already have while holding the alternate button. All right, holding the alternate button, left click on your unit, any of your units, it will show like a directional button, and there is an indicator where they will move according to your formation. So, if I were to drag it, move them a little bit forward. You can see now everyone's moving in the everyone will move and will stop in a formation that I re, that I basically ask them to move to move on. And then here there you go, they will stop. But then you'll realize one major thing is that everyone's moving not in a in the same speed. Because if I were to move them in such a, in, in such a manner, they will move according to their own speed so meaning the slowest unit will fall behind and then the faster units will keep on going ahead and they'll just stop sometimes that's not really the best reasoning is because um, you want everyone to move accordingly and you don't want your artillery to be left alone isolated and then they might get flanked so this is where grouping comes into play group movement but before i actually get into the group movement let me teach you on how to do groupings groupings are pretty easy to do so there are two ways to do groupings the first way is hard select your units then while holding the control press one this will then group them into control group one same thing if i want these two um white lines or charades to be in group two while holding control hi already highlighting the units press two it will be group two the easier way or the shortcut key is while highlighting your units just press the G button. Pressing the G button will group them into the next subsequent free number that I have. So let's say my two care want to group them, 
highlight them, press G, they goes to 4. My artillery, press G, it goes to 5. My lord, press G, it goes to 6. If I want to release them from the group, highlighting your units, press G again, they'll be unlinked. Same thing, unlinked. If you want everyone to be unlinked, press G twice, then they'll be linked. Remember, remember, let's say for example, if I have two groups together, I have one group, for, group one for my normal spearmen, group two for my white line of, of charades, then in order for me to unlink them or link them together, I can basically select all and just press the G button, all of them will be group one. To unlink them all, just, pre just press the G button or just group them again and they'll be unlinked. Simple as that. Alright, so now let's basically talk about how do we move in a formation while following the slower speed of my unit. So from this current roster over here, including the um, cavalry, the, the artillery is the slowest at 22 speed. You can see over there, oops, 22 speed. And my fastest unit is the Illyrian Reavers at 90 speed. So I'm, so I'm just gonna put the cav behind the artillery just to show an actual example whereby the cav will not overtake the artillery and they'll move all together as a cohesive unit. How do you do that? First things first, select your entire roster. Either drag a box around them to select or just or just select everything from the banner and just group them together as group one. After that you have to lock the group. So locking the group will preserve them in to move in the in their formation. So now let's do the same thing. Drag a box over there or, or press one to select all units while holding the alternate button. Click while and sorry, while holding the alternate button, and then after that, click and hold your left mouse button, and this will create the same way on how we move your unit. So let's move them a little bit forward, shall we? Then when I'm moving them, you will realize everyone is moving at a relatively slow speed. My cavalry is moving pretty slow over here. You can see they are not trying to overtake them too much. They are relatively, they are all moving more or less the same speed, and my artillery is not being isolated instead of everyone instead of the calf if it were to move at normal speed it would just out it would just outrun the artillery easily so that's so that's that so that's how you basically do grouping but you have to lock but i would not suggest group locking because it mess with a law formation let's say for example if i were to select this two unit and i want to move them it, it they will always be more or less stuck in a certain formation and then it will mess up it will, it will just mess up everything. It will mess up your battles, it will mess up your targeting, so on and so forth. So let me just quickly ungroup everyone over here. So that's basically on how we talk about groupings movement. So another tip that I would like to talk about when it comes to movement is that, you know, is that if you actually select multiple types of units together, let's say for example, two spearmen and a an archer, and if I were to try to hide and try to move them separately, the game itself will give you a formation of their own. You can see over here. It will it will basically give you a formation. Of, you know, if you're wondering how I am showing the indicator of where they are moving at, is I'm just holding the space button. So by holding the space button, it will it will basically show me where their their movement will be. So you can see if I move while holding the space button, I can see where my units are going. So this is extremely helpful, especially when it comes to one thing to like if when I'm slowly moving my units and I'm wondering where where have they landed at. So but I'll say don't overcomplicate things, just make the, the, the simplest um the simplest formation is front line forward and then archers backwards, artillery behind the archers and two cavalry at the flanks. That's about it. So that's basically most of the army movement tip that I would like to share. But I'm just going to cover a little bit more on the buttons that you see at the bottom for each unit roster. More, most, more or less, everyone should have the same. It is just that um, how just that knowing what the bottom are, at least the buttons over here, will help you a lot. So I'm just going to select any one of my, um, any one of my particular melee, melee infantry for now. So basically, the white the white lion charades they have a couple of a couple of um buttons over here. So the first one is the unit speed. By toggling the unit speed when they are moving, they will either be running or they'll be walking. So what do I mean by that? So let's say for example, I'm moving them forward. They are currently running. You can indicate here they are moving fast. 
if I toggle it off, they will be walking, meaning to say they can save more of their stamina. But again, this is only a, a across like a long distance. When you automatically click it, they'll be running. So you have to make sure you toggle and then they'll be walking. I toggle again, they'll be running. So the next one is toggle mini mode. Mini mode basically is it's just basically you are issuing a melee attack. There's nothing much to it. The second one is basically the halt button. The halt button basically once you're pressing the best the S the back button, the unit will stop whatever they are doing. Even though let's say for example I'm asking my archers to issue an attack on on this unit, if I press the back button, they would they would stop at where they are, they'll stop their movement, they'll stop whatever orders that I have issued for them. So let me just rearrange everything nicely. Alright, so now let's move on to the next button. So the next button is groupings. Groupings I will show you, you can either press the G button or you can group them together by pressing them. By, by pressing G or just by highlighting and holding the control and the number. Simple as that. Alright, then let's move on. So the, so the next one is guard mode. Guard mode basically means that if you enable guard mode, they will not chase against fleeing enemies, enemies that have already been routed. If you disable them, they will keep on chasing those units that are being routed. Usually, I would highly advise is to put all your units in guard mode so that they can be in more or less in the formation. You do not want like your spearmen chasing the unit across all the map, leaving your flanks empty. You want them to be relatively near to one another to support one another, protecting each other's flanks. Then the last one is set formation. This is basically meaning that if I select more than a single unit, it will basically set a formation whereby melee front and miss missile front. So if I were to select, let's say for example, three and my formation currently is missile front. So if I move them, you can see the pre-default setting they give me is the missile will be on front, the melee is at the back. Same goes here, if I select melee front and missile back, there you go. This is more or less like an easy way just to shuffle your, your lines quickly, very quickly. So I'm just going to move this over here. Okay. Let me just ungroup this as well. Oops. Alright. Okay, let's continue on, shall we? So that's basically it for formation. But for archers or for missile units, they have they have two more extra uh, buttons over here. So the first button is fire at will. So fire at will, by default, they are all en um, enabled. You can see on the button, if I click it, the red color arrow is showing it's disabled. If I click on it, the silver, it means it's enabled. So once it's enabled, any units that comes to, to their vicinity of range, will they will, they will shoot with whatever units they want. So you might be wondering, why would, what I, why would I want to uh, disable them? Usually you want to disable them, especially when you're fighting a very big battle and you realize that, hey, you know what? I have to not waste all my ammo, but to hit on key targets only. So that is when you would start to realize that these are quite important. Saving ammo to snipe out key targets is important. The next one is skirmish mode. By default, it's, um, it's, uh, it's disabled. I think you can change it on the settings over here, default skirmish mode and default guard mode on, so and default run as well. So usually I would set guard mode as default on and enable this skirmish mode even for hybrid units. So what is skirmish mode? Skirmish mode is basically meant for skirmishing unit whereby when it's enabled, any melee infantry that comes near to that unit, they will they will basically run away. Don't don't engage in melee. It is especially bad when you are trying to maintain a maintain a missile line when the enemy like comes into like like reaches your front line, they start running away and it messes with the DPS as well. So that's that. And the last button is basically withdraw whereby you want the unit to run off the battlefield. So, so that's basically how and how the army movement control is. So now let's talk about a little bit about issuing orders, but issuing attack orders, but not so in detail. So usually when it comes to a battle, you will want to spread your line as wide as possible so that you do not get enveloped. And secondly, whenever you want to attack or the issue an attack, you will usually try to get as, as close as possible before issuing the attack instead of, you know, clicking this and all of them will converge into a single direction that is actually not ideal you can see so what you can do is actually if you want to issue a, an order for your mini infantry is you can actually issue individual orders so let's say I'm over here I'm gonna issue individual orders to attack but that can get a little bit messy and you might not be comfortable with it if you are just starting out 
So what I would highly advise is group up all your melee infantry by pressing the G button, they all group, lock it. So once you lock your, your melee infantry or formation for your melee infantry, when you select them and you issue an attack order, they will attack the units that are the closest to them. As you can see, if I click on an attack on the middle over here, this you these two units are, are going after the one over here. These two are going in the this this two over here and the one going to the right. Let me just issue the stop. So as so, so as you can see, this is how you can basically issue an order attack. And currently my artillery is currently not in fire and will. So I'm just gonna make it fire at will. And they should attack. Basically I just order order them to attack the middle, but so for missile unit, straightforward, just order issue attack, they will start firing and then the enemy should come after me over here. So once they get close enough, we can basically start the battle. So that's basically it when it comes to issuing a order movement command, how do you actually, how do you actually ask your um, army to move in a way that you want. I know I didn't really cover that much, but I'm covering like more or less the basic stuff, especially when it comes to how do you actually move them in a way that you want to move them. I know it's not the best guide out there, but at least this is something to be able to help all new players in a way that they can move their troops they want. Because if you were to just right click and move them, they'll just move and break your formation and things don't look that clean at all. So with all that being said and done, thank you so much guys for watching, you know. It is it is always a joy for me to post out these videos for you guys. And and I and, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.